Hello students, in this video we are going to work with the text view. Right now, um, at your activity main, which is your home page, uh, has the word hello world in your uh, home page. Um, if you click in the bottom of the screen, you could play around, you could click text and you see the code. Click design, you see the uh, option of user interface you could create. Um, but for now, we're gonna work on uh, on this side on the design instead of doing the coding. Uh, click on the hello world text and look at your right hand side. Find the word text. You could change the word hello world to something else. Click double click on hello world, delete hello world, change to something else. Change to the word homepage and then click enter. Now your word homepage has been changed. I want to change the text color, click uh, text view of homepage again and go on your right hand side. It should be the something they call text color, yeah, but I do not see it. Um, so I keep scrolling down, it starts with T, text color. Here, text color. So I, uh, I move my mouse to your, to my right hand slowly. I see dot dot dot. I click dot dot dot. I click color and I choose the color I want. I want white. Um, I don't know if you have white color, but I do have white color in my app. Um, so I click OK. Now the text, my text color has been changed. I could also change the size. Click the home page text again. I search for the word text size. Text size. It's right here. Move. I double. I, I double click here. I change 14 SP and change to 30 VIP. Click enter. Um, I don't know why it wouldn't change for me. If it doesn't change, it's okay. I, go, I could go in my code. I click uh, in the bottom of the screen, I click text. And I see text size here. You know, you see the uh, text view ta uh, tag. This is called tag. And its characteristic is that layout with layout height, text, text color, blah blah, and then see the text size. I change from 12 SP to, to maybe 45 VIP. Now the text is so big. See? Um, there we go. You got now you know how to work on the um, text field. You could, you could uh, work from here. You could change things from here. You could change things from your code. Um, the uh, text in the in the coding. It's it's not difficult. You see the word layout width. You could change the width, and the size of the width could be. Um, the unit is called DP, so you could say it should be. 200 dp. Ah, it's too small. Let's say 300 dp. That's big. Let's say our text view height is really high. I say 100 dp. So you don't see very much change in the text view here. Maybe in the if you create a button, you you see that size has been changing. Um, that's fine. Uh, let's um. Let's drag the button to be in the bottom of this text view. So, the chain from the text and the bottom is going to change from text to design. Click button, drag button down, drop it somewhere you want. And if you want to uh, work from here, you could keep clicking the button, go on your right hand side, 
And if you want to change the text, by the way, the text, um, text here, change from button to something else. I click me. There we go. Click enter. Now the word has been changed. I want it to be bigger, and so the size should be something else. So if you uh, look here, layout width. You could uh, pick the size, it could be uh, 16 dp, that's too small. Uh, no, I don't like it here. I want to type it in, I'd say 100 dp. Uh, that's not big enough, I want it bigger, so I say 200 dp, enter. What? 200 dp, enter. Layout height, I say 100 dp, enter. So now you see the button is bigger. Uh, I want the text size to be bigger, so it, it can be something that say text size. I keep scrolling down to find the word text size. There. Uh, it gives me something yet again. Um, you know when it comes to text size, it's better to code. So uh, in the bottom of the screen, click text. And uh, put, uh, make a space and type in start typing text size, and then you see the word text size pops up. Double click on that, and you put the number in there. You put maybe 30 pip, and see the word is bigger now. Okay, that's it for now on working with user interface. Take a break. See you in the next video.